G'day Tim, we're going to talk today about the Tower Fishing Shop software. Now, you're a bit of a fisherman, yeah? Uh, look, yeah, a little bit. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm terribly great at it. I spend a lot of time on the water, not necessarily catching things. But so long yeah. as you're not spending your time in the water. But so I look, I don't mind being in it as well, but uh, you know, yeah, it's uh, any any day out on the water is good. Okay. Now, uh, one of my earliest conversations with you about fishing uh, was you told me you had a rule as to when you would eat seafood and not eat seafood. And that rule, I think from memory, was that you, the restaurant had to be within a kilometre of the water. Was that right? Yeah. Look, it's blown out over the years. It's like it started, I, I wouldn't eat seafood unless I could see the ocean. It was a, you know, a pretty strict rule. Then it went to a kilometre and, you know, then I... Um, I strangely enough had a good experience with seafood from a Tasmanian service station. So it kind of threw all, <laughs> all of my rules out the window. So look, we've been developing shop software, point of style software for fishing and outdoors businesses, fishing and bait and tackle businesses for quite a number of years. We've got a number of businesses that use our specialty software. Uh, and so this is one of the, what we call vertical markets that we serve. And, and so what do you think makes our software unique or special for these fishing and outdoors businesses? Yeah, look, it's, you know, it's, it's an inter interesting one because it's not, they're not a real kind of cookie cutter business in the sense that some of them are, are purely fishing and others will come to us and they'll have a fishing and a, you know, fairly strong marine component as well. There might be another business that's fishing and outdoors. It's, it's a category that kind of, falls across you know qu quite a few segments so a, a couple of the specialty features really tie into that kind of broader business um, you know things like the repairs and job management tools um, the catalog management facilities are, are massive across that that kind of single space that is just fishing but um but yeah some of the broader tools as well also scale integration for those that want to be able to sell by weight being able to sell by yeah. fractions i think is important where you're selling things that might be, you know, one and a half metres or whatever, you can do it by fractions. Yeah, correct. And, um, and you know, where, like I said, where it falls into that marine component, you know, they're selling things like chains by the metre and things like that for, you know, for anchor chains and, and ropes and things like that. So, yeah, you're right. The other thing that I think is pretty cool, it's, it's kind of really hard. I, I know we probably won't cover it today with the demonstration, but that is that within our software, you've got the ability to um, uh, regularly, systematically and easily share local fishing site information yeah so you yeah. can serve that through receipts and other ways within the software so that your business is really leveraging local information really well and the software is helping you pitch that to customers correct and and just you know alert your customers of the you know the kind of seasonal changes when it comes to fishing and things like that so people have seen our ugly heads long enough let's get into the software <laughs> and why don't you show us what's special about the software yeah yeah sure well look i'll um you know what, I'll, I'll start with that one we just touched on, um, the, you know, the kind of marketing perspective around, you know, keeping in touch with customers. Um, one really easy way to do that is, is via the events functionality. So um, what you see here is essentially your main dashboard of the system with your various tiles. Um, and just before I jump into events on this screen, you can totally customize it. So, you know, if you looked at that and went, hey, we don't need e-commerce integration or we don't need, you know, catalogs and promotions, you can, remove these tiles and, and essentially design this screen to suit. And that can then be customized further per machine. So where you've got a register machine that might just need the point of sale and customer management, you can get rid of all of the other kind of, you know, with the other functionality. So they just have, you know, the, the facilities they need. Yep. Um, but, but to jump into events, um, one cool thing you can do in here. So I've got events. I can set up all of my events in here and I can do things like, um, you know, blue swimmer crab season, for example, I can have an SMS and email pre-configured that any customer that has purchased an item, and I, <clears throat> look, I haven't got my list set up, but I can add any item related to, you know, to crabbing into this list. And so any customer that has purchased one of those items in the past, I could flick them through a text message or an email saying, you know, hey, Tim, we've had a great catch of blue swimmer crabs over the weekend. We've also just stocked up on gear to help you do the same thing, um, come in and check out the range. And, and all of that can be really customized. So that can be done based on you know, that purchase, 
um, you know, customers use this for where they do have that, that servicing component. I can say any customer that's purchased, you know, if you sell angry fridges or anything like that, I can have a recurring message set up that anyone 12 months after their purchase of an angle fridge will get a text message saying, hey, just a heads up, you know, it's worth getting your fridge checked out, bring it in and we'll do a quick inspection on it for you. And it's fair um, to say, so yeah, we, know, we know from customers that that type of marketing is very successful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like it's, you know, that, that, that contact with customers, just the, you know, not, not a direct pitch, but just saying, hey, we want to help you get the most out of that, you know, that purchase, bring it back in and we'll make sure it's still running smoothly for you. Yep. Um, Excellent. So, so that was one, one element I wanted to touch on. Um, like I said before, another big thing with, um, with fishing stores is the, you know, the combo purchase, essentially. So, you know, where someone's buying a rod and a reel and they get a specific price for that, you can set all of that up within the system. And there's two ways you could do that. I could, I could scan a rod, that adds it to the sale, 129 bucks, but it's telling me down the bottom here, there's an upsell opportunity. If they buy it with a reel at the same time, it'll actually discount that down to a certain price. So I can set that up. So I go scan, scan, and it works it out and does the price for me. Alternatively, if I cancel that one and I was to scan the combination barcode essentially, it'll add that all to the sale in the one barcode scan. So you can kind of pair those items together in a couple of different ways to keep that, you know, keep that transaction smooth. And um, when it comes to finalizing sales, we do a heap of cool things as well. So firstly, we integrate with ZipPay and Hum um, and we're releasing an Afterpay integration soon. Um, but you can also, uh, when you finalize this, if they pay by FPOS, our system will bridge directly to your FPOS pin pads. Um, and I mean, we spoke about it just the other day. We're doing a heap of uh, system switches from retail managers. Um, and, you know, that's a feature that those customers particularly really like to see because it, you know, it brings everything together. It reduces room for human error. It's one receipt for the customer. And it's just a, yeah, a smooth transaction. So, Tim, I'm going to interrupt you at this point and ask you some questions. Over on the top, yeah. on the right-hand side of the screen, I can see Bait and Burley. Uh, I'm not sure the spelling is right for Burley there. I think it is. Anyway. I might be wrong. Uh, rods, reels, jigs and jags, accessories. Can I change those? Yeah, so all of these are totally customizable. Everything on this side can either be a button to a specific product. So I can sell my Flylab uh, glide reel here just by clicking that. My bait and burly, uh, I can click that and it goes into a grid with my different types. Right. So, you know, certainly you can scan barcodes for those products, but a lot of them, you know, if they're in the freezer, you might not worry about bag, you know, you know, labeling a, a you know, kilo bag of cockles, for example, um, if you're making them up yourself. So I can just go, I'll go back, I can go bait and burly cockles, and they want a 500 gram bag. Right. So, um, so just going back to that first screen, let's say you had a button on there that said water, and let's say I was also selling this water here, uh, yeah. I can just, uh, bring that water to the counter, scan the barcode, and it sells it straight away. So yeah, I can absolutely. scan the item, but I can also use the touch buttons, whichever is going to be more appropriate for the business, yeah? Correct, yeah, it's spot on. Excellent. Um, and well, you can also have short code, you know, some customers like that too. So um, being able to sell items in a bundled way uh, really helps me also because I can compete uh, because people won't easily be able to price compare my bundle with individual items they might see somewhere else. Correct. Yeah, it's you know it's tying the two together, and it's the one you know essentially becomes the one item for them to sell. Okay. All right. And it's, you uh, know, it's, else, in some ways. Uh, so there was that. Um, there were special orders. So you know, a lot of fishing stores will do special orders for products. And again, where it falls into that, that marine category where there might be parts and accessories, this is really good for that as well. Um, so I can do a look up on a product and I've got, for example, I've got one of the uh, deeper fish finder sonars in my system, it's 449. Um, I can do a look up on that and I can see all of its information. So I can see, I haven't actually got any in stock. Every time I've received it, I can see how many I normally get and whether there's any price fluctuation. Um, I can also hit my extra details tab up down the bottom there and it'll bring up the image and any extra text I've got on that as well. So I can absolutely confirm I've got the right product the customer wants. 
Now, if, if you know a customer turned around and said, yep, that's what I'm after, get one of those in for me, I can hit order this item and it's gonna put it on my next order for uh, AFN, it's gonna order one, and I can click in my customer option and I can choose the customer out of the list. Now I could hit my add button if it was a new customer and I can grab things like their interests, their categories, set discount profiles, heaps of stuff, or I can just flag the customer. That's gonna put one on order. I can charge a deposit if I want to, or I can leave it if I don't wanna worry about that. It's a good customer, so I won't worry about it. And that's done. That does a heap of things in the background. Um, it's gonna place it onto the next reorder report for that supplier. Then when I receive it in, it's gonna give me a list and say, hey, Tim's got that fish finder on order. So don't forget to put it aside for him. So if you've got different staff that are managing, creating the order to who's bringing it in, you're not gonna miss that. Um, and then further through that process of receiving it in, it'll print a label with the customer's details on it. And in the background, it'll automatically send them an email or a text message to let them know the products are on. So some really cool features to tie all of that together. And, and also with special orders, it's a way of selling something that you wouldn't normally carry in stock. Correct, yeah. You could load in a supplier's you know, entire stock file, for example. So if they can give you a spreadsheet, we can dump all of that into the system. So you've got it all in there to look it up and then you can simply place those orders and yeah, it'll, it'll take care of the rest for you. Excellent, excellent. Okay, what else would you like to show us? Um, look, labelize is an important one for, for fishing and outdoor stores. You know, it's it's quite common. Um, that said, I mentioned before, we also integrate with the, the buy now pay laters, which is, you know, gained a fair bit of momentum over recent years. But labelize still holds a, a, a very strong place in a lot of retail. So if, you know, again, a customer was wanting to lay by this, this rod and reel combo, across to the side here, I can hit my lay by option and I can process that through. Um, that's got some really cool features in the sense of, you know, you can take deposits, you can set uh, lay by durations, it'll do payment plans on receipts. Um, it, it really takes it to a, a, a very deep level of management with lay bys. Um, in terms of other functionality, um, look, you know, website integration has been a huge one. We look just about every industry we work with, but, you know, specifically pets, uh, sorry, not pet, uh, fishing stores, it's very important for. So this rod and reel combo, for example, I can jump into my product screen for this and I can see all of its info. I can see that this is a manufactured good, so it's made up of multiple components. Down the bottom here, I can see all of its pricing information. So I've got its sell price. I can set my web store price. So I might make this 275 on my website. Across the top, I've got my images and you can load unlimited images against the one product. Um, so, you know, all of that information will flow across to your website. And when you say I can load them, they flow across automatically. They do, yeah, correct. So you put them into the point of sale, that'll automatically hit your website. Um, if you, so back in here, if I wanted this particular product online, all I need to do is tick that box. Um, I've got my quantity on hand. So this would flow across, but it would say it's out of stock. Um, as soon as I received some of these in, it would automatically change that on my website to say it's available. Yep. Okay. Um, what if the fishing and outdoors business does repairs? Yeah, so look, repairs is, is really quite common. So uh, you can either have a shortcut set up on your, on your, your point of sale screen here to jump in there. So I've got repairs. Um, that will jump me in and I can add my repair in from here. This will walk me through um, adding the, so if it's a product, they can track all of the information on that product. They can track what work is to be done to it. Um, when you log that in, it'll print off job slips for customers. Um, as your repairer is working on the item, you can do things like take notes on it, load images against the repair. So if it's a reel that's got, you know, got a bit of rust showing, you can take photos and log it in there so if the customer ever queries anything, you can bring that information up. Um, and once a repair is completed, you simply set your completed date here, that'll automatically send that customer a text or an email to let them know their, their job is done and it's ready to be picked up. Excellent. Now, um, what if I want to include care information for a product so that when yep. somebody buys the product, 
I'm adding value because I've got particular knowledge here about how to look after something or where you should use it or something else about that product that's unique to that product. And so I want to give them that information every time I sell the product. Can I do that easily? Absolutely, yeah. So my, uh, you my uh, spinning reel here, I can jump into my stock stream for that product and I've got extra details. I can put any information in here down the bottom um, and I can flag that to automatically print as part of that receipt as well. Nice. So yeah, really handy for, for providing that extra info. So, so thinking back to when you talk to fishing and outdoor businesses, what else did they tell you was important to them in terms of looking at software like this? Look, you know, while it's not a, a feature of the software, one, one thing that is very important to them is the support, the support that's behind it, being able to, you know, pick up the phone and call someone and resolve any, any potential issues. Um, that's been, you know, a really big one, firstly for people looking at us, but also after install, it's a, you know, it's a really big thing. They, our customers tell us they, they really love how they can at any point call us and we're, you know, as simple as it sounds, we're there to help. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you stop sharing your screen then, um, and let's just talk about a couple of other things. Yep. So, uh, I know that our software integrates with zero. So uh, automatically the data can flow across to zero. We integrate through a third party to my op, but the zero integration is direct, which is pretty sweet. Yep. Um, and that means that, that they could get an invoice electronically from a supplier, import it to within the software, sell the items or whatever. All of that data flows across to zero without us having to touch the data. Correct, yeah. It simply just yeah, it makes its way across electronically. That's fantastic. Yeah, huge so, time saver. Um, and especially, I mean, you, you touched on at the start there, the invoice coming electronically from the supplier. So, you know, several in the fishing space, they can create, the, the supplier will create a file which automatically flows into the system. So if they're receiving, you know, 100 items, they don't need to sit there and key all of that in. They simply tick a box and it processes it all in for them. You mentioned before about customer service and customer support. Um, we send our customers uh, an email twice a week, customer service email with assistance and advice and information like that. We also yep. uh, regularly send out print newsletters. And then twice a year, we send our customers one of these cards, which is um, a, a really nicely printed uh, support contacts card. So we send out our customers get two of these every year. They're nice and thick. They stick them up on the wall next to the phone. So it's got all of all of our contact details in Australia and New Zealand, um, email addresses, and it's even got my number and all of that. So it make we make it really easy for people to uh, contact us. But what if they uh, aren't a customer? Somebody looks at this video. They say, "Hey, these two guys really know what they're talking about. They're really experts, and you know, Tim knows so much about fishing. I want to talk to him and have a look at the software. How do they do that? Tim? How do they have a look at the software? Look, so we, we don't just jump straight into to going through the software. There's a bit of a process we go through first. Like we just we want to have a conversation to start with. We want to discuss with the potential customer what they're looking for. You know, what they want the system to do. Um, and make sure we're a good fit for them and also that they're a good fit for us. So it, it starts with a you know half an hour conversation. If that all checks out, absolutely, we'll do a demonstration and show them how it works in full detail. Um, from there, if you know if they want to go ahead, you know there's no pressure from us, but if they do decide to go ahead, from order to install, we'll log in, we'll do things like review their data conversion. So that's all you know part and parcel with it as well. Um, and then we go ahead and schedule the install. So, um, yeah, we've got a pretty smooth process for it. Excellent. Is there anything else you would say to a toy shop that was considering our software? Uh, fishing store? Um, look, Sorry, fishing I store. Say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I would say, uh, no, look, you know, pick up the phone and call us. Um, happy, to, happy to help. Um, you know, yeah, happy to talk fishing. <laughs> it's fair to say, um, you know, if we're not the right fit, you're going to say so. Yeah, yeah, look, absolutely. I mean, we, you know, we've been doing this for long enough to know, you know, there's there's good business and there's bad business. Um, if someone's not not right for us, we're more than happy to put that out there. Um, you know, we want this to work as much as the next customer, as much as the customer. Um, you know, word of mouth is a is a huge, you know, avenue for us to generate new leads. So, you know, a happy customer at the end of the end of the day is what we're chasing. Okay. When are you going fishing next? Uh, look, I haven't got anything scheduled. I've, you know, I just had four weeks off, so uh, yeah, need to rebuild a bit of annual leave. <laughs> and what's your favourite fish to eat? 
Uh, look, you know, I think whiting is, you know, absolutely the go-to um, from there. You know, blue swimmer crab is pretty good, but, you know, it, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with either of those. I love garfish. Oh, yeah, yep. Yep. Really, They're, really uh, nice and tasty. Fiddly to scale, that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lot of work involved. Uh, but really enjoyable, really nice flavour, uh, very uh, tasty. All right, yeah. uh, look, uh, we're Tower Systems. We do software for vertical markets. Uh, our fishing soft shop software, we think, is pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, the best way to determine that for yourselves is to have a look at it. Uh, if you want to do that, sales at towersystems.com.au is the best way to contact us. Thank you, Tim. All right. Thank you. Uh, enjoy fishing. Will do. Thanks. Bye.